good evening. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes, I can. How are you today? Uh, today, so tired, but everything is good. Okay. What about you, Carlos? How was your day? Can you hear me, Carlos? Oh, he doesn't have the earphones. Hello, Corina. Hello. How are you? Hi. Good. How was your day? I'm very busy. Okay, good. I was on vacation, but today was my first day again. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so the first day is always the hardest one. Yes, exactly. <laughs> How many days were you on vacation? 21. Oh my God. <laughs> that's, a, that's a long time, 21 days. Yes. Did you sleep a lot? Did you rest? Not, not too much because I, I was busy too uh, here in my house with all my grandchildren. <laughs> How many grandchildren do you have? Six. Six grandchildren? Six. And, and how many children do you have? Four. 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 You're, a, you're a young uh, grandmother. <laughs> Not too much. I have 55 years. Oh, but you, you don't look like a grandmother. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thanks. Good. So welcome back, everybody. Raul, Annie, Corina, and Carlos. Thank you for being punctual. Annie, how was your day? Hello, Tijen. It's a day. It's very, very, very good. I'm very hard at my job, but very nice, nice day. Mm -hmm. Good. Very good. Annie, are you here in San Salvador? Yes. What yes. part? In Antiguo Bucatlan. Oh, Antiguo. Okay, good. Close the, for, close the park. Oh, good, good. Yes. All right, nice. All right, um, let's talk a little bit about yesterday. Do you guys remember the topics we discussed yesterday? It's a uh, first condition. And what is the function of the first conditional? Is um, it's a link between two sent two sentences. Uh huh. And both sentences. Okay. It's, it's like an action and a reaction. Okay. In which tenses are we using when we use the first conditional? A simple and present future. Present future. Okay, so we use simple present and we use simple future. Simple future. Mm -hmm. So remember, you can go positive, positive, negative, negative, or you can make a combination. You can go positive, negative, and vice versa. You can go negative, positive. And uh, you can perfectly start your sentence by using future and the message is exactly the same. So um, that's that's like uh, your decision if you start with the simple present or the simple future. Um, what else did we do? Do you remember the other topics? No. Talk about talk about the platform. Practice. Platform. 
Yeah, the platform. I sent you the audio to the to the chat. Ah, uh, yes, I received this, this, this morning. Yeah, yeah, so that way um, you don't need to depend in, in the platform to answer the questions related with the, with the listening. So you can perfectly answer the questions by using the audio that we have in your WhatsApp group. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Until this, uh, until this night, I'm going to listen the audio. Okay, sure. Don't worry. It, it's, it's really short. It's not that long. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, any questions or comments about yesterday? No. No, teacher. All right. So let's do this exercise. Um, so today we we finished um, the topics related with the first conditional. Now in the platform, you're not going to see the second conditional, but it's always a good idea that if you, if we're doing the first conditional, use the second conditional at the same time, so there is better understanding of the two topics. So let me show you this. Uh -huh. Where was this? You see the document? Yes. 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 All right. So we're going to start with the exercises that we have. Hold on. All right, there. Okay, so we're going to start with these exercises, which is what we were doing um, yesterday. Can you read that? No, huh? Can you? Yes. All right. It's a little bit yes. blurry. Okay. Now, uh, can I have a volunteer for the first one? I do. Okay, please. If you use Chris mm -hmm. and Aaron, uh -huh. you will get orange juice. Good. If you squeeze an orange, you will get orange juice. What about number two? Someone else? What's going to be the result if you eat too much sugar? Anybody? more weight. Uh-huh. You will put you put on some more weight if you eat too much sugar. Exactly. So if you eat a lot of sugar, you will put on some more weight. What about number three? If I study a lot, I will pass the year. Very good. If I study a lot, I will pass the year. What about number four? Somebody. If you press the button, the machine will stop. Good. Good. Very good. If you press that button, the machine will stop functioning. Very good. What about number five? If you don't apologize, she she will will not forgive you. Very good. It's double negative. If you don't apologize, she will not forgive you. Hmm. So she takes it very personal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about number six? Me. If you yes. wash the dishes today, I will dash the house. Good. If you wash the dishes today, I will dust the house. Now, what is the meaning of dust? 
so like funny. clean clean sure clean. how do you say dust in spanish yeah dust yeah in spanish we say sacudir Okay, nice. <laughs> Forget it. I changed the. <laughs> yeah, so especially when you receive a, a, a visit and you were not expecting that visit. So you start cleaning your house and you start dusting very quickly. What about number seven? What will happen? If I press this button. Good. What will happen if I press this button? Good, Raul. What about number eight? Another volunteer. Want enough water? No. If there is there want enough water in the next few years, many people we, I mean, we die. Uh huh. So if there isn't, okay. if yeah. there isn't enough water in the next few years, many people will die. Yes. What about number nine? If we won't recycle. Uh, we won't, we, we put our own survival at risk. Survival, very good. If we don't recycle, we will put our own survival at risk. Very good. What about number 10? Somebody, anybody? Uh, it yes, will please. Be damaged, it will be damaged if you press too much. Very good. It will be damaged if you press it too much. 11. If you touch the dog, it will be bite you. It will bite you. Yes. It will bite you. If the dog doesn't know you, and you touch the animal, there is a good possibility that the reaction is going to be a bite. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the last one? Students will get good marks if they study regularly. Very good. Students will get good marks if they study regularly. Nice, nice, very good. All right, so all these exercises, we're talking about the first conditional. Something that we do now with a result in the future. And also something that we don't do now can have a result in the future as well. All right, any questions about the first conditional? No. All right. Now, this is this is the topic um, that you need to know so there is better understanding of all the conditionals. In English, we have four conditionals. Zero conditional, first conditional, second conditional, and third conditional. So yesterday and today we were using the first conditional. Now we're going to use the second conditional. Now, let me ask you, what is the function of the simple past tense? Something that happened in the past. Yes. Something that happened in the past and finished in the past. That is the simple past. 
Now, when the information is positive, what is the form of the verb? When the con Base form. Uh, can you please repeat it? Sure. When the information is positive, when the sentence is affirmative, what is the form of the verb? The, ba the base form. Are you sure? In simple past. In, yeah, in simple past. Uh, ah, yeah, it, it depends. Any... <laughs> Maybe only with ED at the end of the verb. And the uh -huh. irregulars, but they don't have a rule. Okay. All right, so you have two examples there. I went to church. Is that regular or irregular? Regular. Regular. The second one says, I clean my room after six months. Regular or irregular? Regular. 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 So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're using irregular or if you are using regular. Um, the form of the verb is always in past tense. Now, let's do the opposite. What's the auxiliary you use when the information is negative? Didn't. Didn't. Or didn't. didn't. And what happens to the was, verb? Was, where? When the information is negative, what's the auxiliary? In the past, did. Didn't. 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 What happens to the verb? Base form. Just in the base form. Base form. So she didn't snore last night. So when the information is negative, you use didn't. What happens to the main verb? Base form. <laughs> It's base form. It's base form. What's the meaning of snore? Snore. Oh. You make a noise when you sleep. Very good. It's the noise that you make when you are sleeping. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you snore? No. Be I honest. Don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You don't know, <laughs> but I know that your family, they tell you something. Sometimes I snore. Your, your husband, <laughs> your wife, your son, your daughter. They say, Francisco, you were snoring a lot last night. Okay, anyways, so if the information is negative, you use didn't. The form of the verb is base form. Are we okay here? Yes. All right. Now, I need your attention. When you are using the second conditional, you're talking about something that is not true at the time you're speaking. So when you use the second conditional, you need to use the structure of the simple past. How do you say... Si yo no usara lentes. If I didn't use glasses. Very good. If I didn't use glasses. If I didn't wear glasses. Now let's do the opposite. How do you say si yo ocupara lentes? I use it. There. If I used, uh huh. If I used, if I used glasses. So if if you notice, it doesn't matter if the sentence is positive or negative. The form of the of the structure is always in past. Now, how do you say? 
Si yo tuviese dinero. If I had money. If I had money. Good. Now, what is the opposite? Si yo no tuviera dinero. So I didn't have, have money. money. Very good. If I didn't have money. So whether the sentence is positive or negative, it's always in past. Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask you the following. What are the three forms of verb to be in present? The three forms of verb to be in present. Be, be was, are, where? Is, am, is, are. Am, is, are. are, am, is, are. are. Mm -hmm. am, is, are, are the three forms of verb to be in present. Mm -hmm. Now, what are the two forms of verb to be in past? Was, was, where. Word. Was, were. Very good. Observation. When you're using the second conditional, was does not exist. Was does not exist. So how do you say, si yo fuese usted? If I were, if I were you, you. you. Very good, if I were you. How do you say, si usted fuese ella? If you were, were her. Very good. Uh, if you were, were her. her. How do you say si ella fuese usted? If she, if she were, were you. you. Very good. If she were you. So it doesn't matter which personal pronoun you're using. You always need to use were. Where? Because was does not exist. Are we okay? Okay. All right. Volunteer for the first one. If Me. I were you. <laughs> if I were you. I study. A good study. Uh, I will. I will study for the final exam. Okay. Now listen to I this. Would. When you are when you're using the second conditional, remember that you are speaking about something mm. that is not true. So the, the structure that you're using uh, has to be in past. Now the complement needs to be would and could because would and could are hypothetical. They are not true. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if, if I were you? I would. I would. I, I very good. For the final exam. Very good. So if I were you, I would study for the final exam. Mm -hmm. Okay, volunteer for number two. Uh, a, a question, teacher. Yes, Roberto, yes. Uh, when we will use cool and uh, when we will use cool? Uh, it, it really doesn't matter. Just make sure that it makes sense. In some circumstances, the two, op the two options are good. In some cases, you're gonna have to decide which one sounds better. That but the, the meaning is the same. Uh, not exactly. In some cases, the two options are good, but not all the time. In some cases, you're gonna have to decide if better, uh, if could, is better than would and vice versa. If would is better than is better than could. Okay. All right. Now let's do the second one. So, so, so we'll get a, a better idea. So if my parents were rich, were rich, I won't I need won't to work so much. I wouldn't. I need to work so much. I wouldn't need to work so much. So if my parents were rich, I wouldn't need to work so much. Right? Yeah. All right. Volunteer for the other one? Me. All right, please. If Sarah had a good handwriting, I could understand her text. Good. 
If Sarah had, what is the message in this sentence? Sarah's writing is very bad. Sarah's writing is terrible. So you say, if Sarah had a good handwriting, I could understand the text. Okay, what is the plural of text? How do you how do you pronounce this word? Text. Text. Uh huh. I don't hear any answers. Uh huh. Text. Okay. If it's singular, you say text. What if it's plural? Text. Text. So it says, no. if, if Sarah had a good handwriting, I could understand her texts. Text. Text. Texts. 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 So, so you have to make sure that letter S is pronounced. So I could understand her text. Texts. Text. Text. Uh huh. Text. Yes. Text. What about number four? Volunteer. Remember, it's okay to make mistakes. And making mistakes is the only way you will improve. What's number four? If my computer functioned properly, I, I, I wouldn't use it more often. Okay. So if my computer functioned with ED, if my computer functioned properly, I could use it more often. I would use it more often. So Roberto, in number four, the two options are good because the two options make sense. Okay. Volunteer for number five. Me? Yes, please. You were healthier if you could eat less red meat. Um, actually, you need to change it a little bit. You could you be healthier. Aha. Uh -huh. You if could you be healthier. You would be healthier. If you ate less red meat. Yes. If you ate less red meat that means that the person in exercise exercise five eats a lot of red meat okay uh-huh so you would be healthier if you ate less red meat do you guys eat red meat something sometimes hmm. Okay. Yeah, like in my case, really. Okay. Red meat is delicious, but it's bad for your health. Okay, what about number six? Me? Yes, please, Christina. If we a, if we a, sorry, I can see. Go ahead. Number, number, six. number six. Seven. Six. 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 Okay. If we ate more vegetable, our uh -huh. body would be healthier. Very good. If we ate more vegetables, our body would be healthier. Do you guys eat vegetables? Yes. Sometimes. Yes. Sometimes. Every day. Every day. What is your favorite? Mm. Potatoes. Okay. Potatoes. <laughs> potatoes. Oh, I like right tomatoes. now la remolacha. Right oh. potatoes. Uh -huh. Tomatoes good. Tomatoes, cucumberry, lettuce. Pacaya. Oh. Uh, I, I, I like too much. Pacaya. Okay. <laughs> Right. Yeah, all the vegetables, they have different benefits, you know. So, you don't need to know the benefits of each vegetable to eat them. 
So you eat vegetables because they, you know that they're good for you. Yeah. Do you like carrot? Yeah, yeah, yes. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Do you for like me every day. <laughs> Do you like onion? Yes, I no. like. Yes. Do you like green beans? Yes. What what is green beans? Green beans. Green beans. Oh, no. Ejotes. Ejotes. Oh. Yes, I like. Yes. I like with it. F. Okay. Green do you like do you like cabbage? Cabbage. I don't know what is cabbage. Cabbage. You see the chat? Cabbage. Uh, yes. Prepare, you know. Cabbage is the main ingredient in curtido. Prepare. Yes. yes. Do you like cabbage? What about beet? Do you like beet? Feet is round and purple. Semolacha. Yes. Ah, uh, beet. Yes. Okay. Do you like beet? I like beet. Okay. Yes. It's good. It's good. Beet. Yeah, vegetables are good. All right. Um, what about number seven? If you tidied up your bedroom every day, uh -huh. it couldn't. couldn't be in a mess. Very good, Karina. If you tidied up your bedroom every day, it could be a mess. Uh -huh. what, is, what is tidy? Okay, anybody can answer the meaning of tidy? It's like anybody? a clean. Yes. Tidy is a synonym of clean. Okay. Uh huh. What about number eight? Another volunteer. Anybody? Um. Only one, only one. <laughs> I didn't do the chores. I couldn't. Okay, remember, this is I, hypothetical. One I part uh, one part of the sentence is in past, the other one is could and would. So what is number eight? I couldn't do the chores myself if I had more money. Okay. What is the meaning of chores? Things that you do in your house. Very good, Jose. The different activities that you do in your house. Can you mention examples of chores? Wash the dishes. Wash the dishes. Wash the dishes. Mop the floor. Mop the floor. How do you say barrer in English? Sweep, sweep. Sweep. Um, Yes, sweep, sacudir. Sacudir. Dust. 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 Okay, so in number eight, uh, you say, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do the chores myself if I had more money. So the message in number eight is that this person is doing chores and this person doesn't have enough money. What about number nine? Teacher, excuse me, uh, yes. can you repeat number eight? Sure. I wouldn't do the chores myself if I had more money. Okay. Thank you. Now, what is the messaging number eight? Somebody, what's the message? In Spanish or in English? No, <laughs> the message in English. In English, please. In English, in English teacher, in English. Yes. <laughs> that, that person is doing 
the shores. Exactly. So that person maybe they like pay another person to do the chores, but this person don't have don't have the money. money. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. That's exactly the message in that one. Number nine, another volunteer. Teacher, a question. Yes, Annie. The, the verb have is uh, past. Yes, yes, it's past, past tense. Yes. Okay. Remember that when we are, um, when we're using the second conditional, one part of the structure is always in the simple past. And the other part of the structure is with would or could. Yes. All right, um, any other questions? Depend on the order. Not really, it doesn't matter. Because let me give you the uh, number eight as an example. It says, I wouldn't do the chores myself if I had more money. I can perfectly say, if I had more money, I wouldn't do the chores myself. So I changed the position of the structure and the message is exactly the same. Okay. Is that clear? Yeah, it's clear. All right, good. Volunteer for number nine. Hey. Yes, please. We could stay in Tom's house if he lived in a big house. Very good. We could stay in Tom's house if he lived in a big house. What is the message in number nine? Tom's house is <laughs> so. The house is small. <laughs> small. Good. Very good. Tom's house is small. What is it? It's inter interruption the sound. Yeah, hold on. Okay, uh, I need a volunteer for number 10. Volunteer. Me. Okay, yes, Janita. Uh, there, there were confront, confront, confrontation. Ah, yes. <laughs> there, there were confrontation if the two opposite cheerleaders uh, appear. Who the peer? Janita, can you change the structure and, and, and so it can sound a little bit better? Uh, probably. <laughs> if the two positive readers uh, appear, appear uh, appeared, they could be. Confronting, confrontation. confrontation. Okay, very good. So you say there would be confrontation if the two opposite cheerleaders appeared. Appeared. Yes. Okay. There could be, there would be. In that case, the two options are good. There could be, there would be confrontation if the two opposite cheerleaders would appear. Would appear. Would appear. Now, what is the message there? The two opposite cheerleaders are not there. They are only imagining. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the last one, volunteer. Mm -hmm. if, if they knew more vocabulary, uh -huh. They would be able to understand more easily. Very good, Raul. If they knew more vocabulary, they would be able to understand more easily. Good, good. Um, any questions about number 12? Okay. 
you repeat teacher the the answer sure raul can you please, please repeat it okay number 12 if they knew more vocabulary they will be able to understand more easily perfect if they knew more vocabulary they would be able all right is number 12 clear yes okay so let's make the groups um make sure that everybody speaks uh when we're discussing the topic and do you remember the questions that I sent you to the WhatsApp chat? Yes. Okay, do you see the questions right now in your computer? Yes. Okay, yes, those, are, those are exactly the, the, the same questions that I sent uh, earlier. So every question that we have here uh, the answer needs to be responded with the first conditional. For example, question number one, what will you do if you miss your family and friends? Imagine that you're in Mexico right now and you miss your family and friends, what will you do? Anybody? I will what uh, I I will uh, call them. Good. I will call them. Another answer. Okay, what about the other nine people? What is your opinion? What will you do if you miss your family and friends? Janita says, I will call them. I try to be, to come. Uh-huh. Two or three, two times of year. Okay, so I will try to visit them two or three times during the year. Very good. Mm -hmm. Another example, please. I, if I could be in contact with them okay. uh, for um, WhatsApps, for example. Very good. So if I miss my family, I will have contact with them by WhatsApp. One more example before you start talking to yourselves, among yourselves. Any example for number one? If I miss my family, I will try to come back. Good. I'll try to come back. Very good. So let me make um, these groups here. Nine people. I will make three groups. Here we go. Let's go. The two Annies. Uh, yes. <laughs> Good. And Carlos. <laughs> All right. Question number two. What will you do if you have problems with the English language? If I have problems in English language, I would to try to study. Good. I will try to study. Very good. Another one, Anna Edith. Is mute. Okay, Carlos hold on. And, and Edith is mute. Sorry, <laughs> my bad. Uh, okay. <laughs> yes, and um, I would try learn more vocabulary. Good, good. 
I will try to learn more vocabulary. Very good. Yes. Carlos, what would be a solution if you have a problem with the English language? Whoa. One solution. <laughs> solution. Yes. Estudiar más. Study more. I will yeah. study more. I will study more. Very good. Okay, go to the next question. Go ahead, people. Okay. Okay, teacher. Harder. Harder. But I guess that the practice is to, to say the, the full sentence. For example, yes, it is. Uh, if you have problem with the English language, and the second part, we must to say the second part also. In future, for example, if you say, if I have problems with the English language, I will buy a dictionary. Okay. Uh huh. So, what would be one solution in your case if you have problems with the English language? Christine, Corina, and Roberto. Uh, uh, for me, I will listen, listen, listen more music in Good. English. Good. Fine. Teacher, teacher, yes, a question. Yes, sir. These these uh, practices for first condition. Yes, or first condition. condition. No, first condition. Uh, first condition. Uh, okay. Yes. Okay. Then number three. Uh huh. What will you do if you can't stand the heat? Now, in this case, we're talking about the weather. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What is what is the hottest time of the year in El Salvador? The hottest. What is the hottest? March. Yes, March or April. In April. Okay. So what do you do if the weather is too extreme? I will uh, turn up the fan. Okay, good. Another solution? I will take a shower. Every hour? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I I will I will install um air conditioner. Good. I will turn on the air conditioner. That's a possibility. Uh, I I will go to the swim swimming pool. Good. And stay there like three hours maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. Why not? <laughs> All right. What about number four? What you will do if you want to move back to your home country? Mm -hmm. What is? What you do you do if you can't stand the hot heat? By the heat. Yes. I could take a shower. Take okay. a shower. Good. Good. So I could um, drink. Uh, drink. A cold beer. A cool beer. Yeah. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah. Sure. Too bad it's only Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. don't, don't, don't give me ideas now. Okay. Bad, bad ideas. <laughs> right. Well, actually, they're good ideas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, teacher, how do you say uh, poner el ventilador? Put the fan. Oh. Put what? the fan. Oh. The fan. Yeah, you can say put the ah, fan. The fan. Oh, turn okay. on the fan. Oh, turn activate on the fan. The fan. The fan. Okay. Yeah, fan. F A N. Yeah, that's... Fan. Mm -hmm. F A N. Okay. Thank you. Uh huh. Good. Very good. What okay. number are you doing right now? Uh, number four. Number five, oh, four. Oh, yeah, about number the heat. Four. Heat. Two, four. Yeah. Okay. Four. 
Okay, number, yeah, but number four. The, it's not complete, the, the answer is a little um, more um, pequeño. How do you say pequeño? Smaller. It's smaller. It's smaller, the, the screen. Okay. Uh -huh. I can see the complete sentence. Okay, let me see. I, I think it's in the chat. Ah, okay. Yes. What will you do if you want to move back to your home country? Imagine that you are in Mexico, Canada, Colombia, and you want to return to El Salvador. What do you do in that case? You say, I miss my family, I miss my friends. What do you do in that case? I I would I could I could see it's easy, easy is I could may I to use cool sure no sure yes you can it's, but but if 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 we want to concentrate with the first conditional mm -hmm. it's better if you use will now, in a real conversation, you could um, use it, uh, but this one, can, can you say it using will? Mm. In, in, in that, the answer is, if, if I want to move back to another country? To your home country. To home, uh, okay. So um, imagine you are in Canada right now. Uh, okay. Uh-huh. I if, if I coming back in I will Salvador, come back. Okay. Come, okay. Okay. I uh, how do you say compraría? Would buy. I will buy the ticket. I will, I will buy um el, electronic uh, and many things. <laughs> oh, many things. Yeah. Many things to, to sell here okay. in my country. Okay. Okay. So you will buy maybe merchandise. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah, buy merchandise. Uh -huh. So when you return, you sell it. Uh -huh. Yes. You this make is, money. This is the idea. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. All right, do the other one. In number five. Number five. Well, if I split, split out with my partner, I will go to the bark <laughs> and drink some beers. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Teacher, the, the, the people se descompuso aquí. Yeah, I know. Yes, an example. So, so They're you... eating pupusas and drink beers, you know. I don't know what happened. Yeah, escape from reality. <laughs> it's uh, imaginary situations. Yes, yeah, it's okay. Don't worry. Okay, if I split it up with my partner, maybe... I will drink some beers too uh, with Jose. <laughs> <laughs> if I will feel lonely, lonely, I will, uh, I will uh, calling you guys and go to to eat pupusas and beer and something like you'd say. Dancing. <laughs> yes. Good. It's so pro. Mm -hmm. it's like Sure. I mean, like, when a person feels lonely, it's always good to do something uh, for distraction to... Uh, With a partner. Yeah, forget about that person. For it to hang out with their friends in order yes. to cheer up. Sure, sure. Hang out with your friends to cheer up. That's a good option. That's a good idea. Yes. Good. But in the real life, normally the other person is busy. busy. I are very busy. Okay, but if you, if you tell them you're going to pay for the drinks, they'll make the time. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They said, you know what? I'm, I'm very busy. I'm sorry, but look, I'm going to pay for everything. Okay, let me ask for permission. <laughs> I want uh, I would make the I, I, I want to make a confession. I don't like the beer. Uh -huh. I don't like I don't like because it tastes so amargo. Bitter. But I, uh -huh, bitter, but uh -huh. I like another things. Okay, what other things do you like, Janita? Like uh, cocktails, like margaritas, or um, something to, with taste uh, more sweet. Okay. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. Do you like vodka? No. Whiskey? No. That wine? Yes. Okay. It's a good option. Okay. Fine. That is why you are so younger. Me? Why? A younger? Thank you, but I don't know if it's so younger. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm an adult. <laughs> I, read, I wrote yeah. sometimes that when you get older, you develop this state. That is why uh, when you get older, uh, mm -hmm. you love coffee without sugar, uh, wine, <laughs> beer. Uh, that taste, you, oh, you get it. So, in, okay, in thank you. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah, people change. As you get older, people change. It's true. <laughs> Raul, how old are you? 34. 34. How old are you, Jose? 36. Oh, you're very <laughs> near. Very near. Okay. Cousin, I'm not going to ask you your age. <laughs> but I have more than you. More, more age. I think. Really? Yeah. More than Raul and Jose? Yep. Really? <laughs> nah. Yeah. I, you I, look younger. Yeah, you look younger. It's really, I, I tried to uh, occult the video. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, Why? You know, it's just, I'm not looking good in my time of the bed <laughs> in okay. my house. All right, that's but, okay. Okay, I'm here. This is me. Of course, yeah. Younger, maybe it will turn yeah. in, in the camera, but you look younger. Yeah, you do. Really? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yes. But I'm, I'm not really. Okay. Well, that's good. Is that? I don't know what. I, that I I know. Uh, the reason is I don't like the beer. <laughs> I think that person go out in the night and. I don't know, it looks a little, you know, como que se desvelan mucho. Yeah, they go to bed late. Yeah, I mean, okay. I'm so healthy. All right, good, good. All right, so let's return to the main session. Okay. All right, can you guys hear me? I can. Okay, and... It's only, you and me, uh... it's only you and I. Yes. Let's see. Okay, they're coming back. The other people are talking about movies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they, they are coming back. Yeah, they're coming back in in, in less than one minute. Okay, um, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions about today? No. no? I be confused between the, the past and the and the end. The, the, the last sentence, but it's a question. 
Okay, uh, what number, Annie? No, but, but um, Edith, explain me about the difference. The, the... Oh, so she explained to you. Yes, uh -huh, Edith, explain me. Mm -hmm. okay, but I don't, I don't sure. <laughs> okay. All right, what, what, was, what was the number of the question? Uh, yes, about uh, the use um, will uh, in the question uh -huh. and the sentence only could or would and the verbs. Okay, yeah, with the first conditional, it, you make a combination of the simple present with the simple future. Second conditional is a different story. Uh -huh. okay. mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so thank you very much. Have a good night and get some rest. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, see you. Good night. Bye.